Do you want to learn how to make your $50 Amazon microphone go from sounding like this garbage tin can to sound like a full studio grade microphone just like this? Make sure to stay tuned. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make your $50 Amazon microphone go from sounding like a Pepsi can that you picked up off the side of the street to sounding like a nice, crisp, studio grade microphone. And this solution is free. I know there are some paid versions as well as you could always shell out the $400 for a nice microphone, an interface and all that fun stuff. But I prefer the free version because it's just a little bit more budget friendly, you know? So what you see here on my screen may look a little confusing and concerning to some, but it's VoiceMeter Banana. And VoiceMeter is really simple software that I've used for years and I really do love it. Uh, VoiceMeter is just going to allow you to tweak your uh, sound just how you would with a full interface. It's just digital. Now, VoiceMeter is really easy to install, really easy to step, and really easy to get going. All you have to do is just go right down below in the description and go to the first link, which will bring you to the voice meter website. And here you're gonna see a few different options. So you have voice meter, you will have banana, and you'll have potato. Personally, I use banana because it just gives me a few more mix options. Uh, potato is just, there's a lot going on. It's very scary. And then there's regular voice meter, which if you're not looking for a lot of mix options, that's perfectly fine to go with. But I'm gonna show you guys on banana since that's what I personally use. Just scroll down here, click the install button, it's going to download the voice meter setup for you. All you're going to have to do now is just run this setup and install it. I'm not going to since I already have it installed and it will mess up what I already have installed. So just run that installer and you'll be good to go. Then you'll be met with the voice meter banana screen. So there's one last thing you have to do. If you just go right down in the description one more time, click on the second link, which will take you to the virtual audio cable. Just download this. It's going to come in a zip file. All you have to do is just download the zip file and then extract it into its own folder. You just do that very simply by a uh, right click, extract all, then just choose where you want to extract it to. It's going to do that. Just give it a few seconds and then boom, it creates a folder for you. Scroll down here to VB cable setup, right click and run as administrator. That's just going to take you through the setup. It's going to say add to voice meter. Go ahead and add it. Once again, I don't want to do that because it's going to mess up my drivers that I already have. But once you do that, you can close this and you no longer have a need for any of these files. Just delete them off your desktop. So now once you have all that set up, you're going to select your hardware input, which for me is my Tonar Q9, link in the description. It's only 50 bucks, comes with everything, the USB microphone and the boom arm. It's a great price for the microphone. Then you can mess around with your fader gain here and your IntelliPan, which is just going to change how your voice sounds. It may take you a few tries to really get it sounding good. Personally, I still tweak mine literally every day when I get on my PC. So mess around with it. Find out what works for you, what works for the tone of your voice, where your microphone sits, all that fun stuff. I really can't tell you how to do it because it's different for every person. And then what you want to do here is you can really leave these two just blank. I don't, I don't personally use them. Uh, you can for different things such as like, um, you know, where your mic is so it could sound more to the right or more to the front or even more to the rear or the left, etc. But I don't use it. I like to keep my voice meter nice and simple. Now what you're going to do is if you go to the hardware out, you're going to see uh, A1, A2, and A3. Just click on A1. Then you're going to see KS VB dash audio point. Now that's what we got from adding our VB cable plugin. Uh, you may have to restart your PC for that to show up. For me, I didn't have to. If it doesn't show up, just go ahead, restart your PC, and then it should show up no problem. So once you have that done, it's really just playing with it, tweaking it. But for the most part, you're all set. You're ready to use VoiceMeter. Now, all you have to do at this point is, you know, head right over to Discord, go to settings. Then you see all my input devices here. What you want to select is voice meter output VB dash audio voice meter VAIO. Not to be confused with the voice meter aux. Make sure it is the output one. Don't select cable output or else it's going to sound like absolute garbage as well. And once you do that, guys, you are all set or ready to go. You're using voice meter and your mic isn't sounding like straight trash anymore. So congrats, guys. You save four or five hundred bucks on a studio microphone. And now you're all set to start recording, 
playing games or uh, you know just talking to your friends and not being made fun of for having the tin can mic anymore. If you guys found this helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get to those as soon as I can, all right? Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace.